At any point during this weekend, did anyone approach you or try to get you to attend either the NXT TakeOver show or WrestleMania itself? I have to be honest and say no. Well, let me see. I was invited to WrestleMania. Nobody asked me about coming to NXT, and I don't go where I'm not booked. That's the first thing I learned when I got into business 30 fucking whatever years ago. Uh, don't go when you're not booked because it makes you look needy. <laughs> and also, that was the only evening in the course of a week that I believe I mentioned I actually had a chance to eat food that wasn't delivered in a sack. Um, but I was invited to WrestleMania. But to be perfectly honest, after doing JR's show and getting out of there at close to 5 o'clock and trying to find my way to the fucking stadium and getting a stadium of 75,000 people and watch a show that apparently lasted seven hours, that might they might have put up a graphic by the end of it, Jim Cornette in memoriam, because I was fucking shot. So I was invited to attend and witness, but I declined for that reason. And I was not invited to NXT, but once again, I saw people saying, oh, he should have managed the revival. They were in a three-way. And if I was going to do something like that, I'd be the first one to say that's not the forum to do that. And they were about to make their debut. The attention needed to be on them. I know it would have been a kick for them. It would have been a kick for me. If especially if I'd had more sleep and some people might have been tickled by it, but I'm I'm not going to be doing anything long term or regularly for anybody. So for me to just show up there, business wise, it might have been a tickle, but it wasn't it wasn't tickling the right thing. It wasn't the right spot or the right time. <laughs> 